Hi guys, welcome to this video. <coughs> this is the last day of August 2022 and I still have to make the video. What's new? So what changed in July and August? Two months, the holiday period for Arcanlex. I've written already the article, but we need to make a video about it so we can also watch the video and read the article. Both of them are interesting. So releases 2022, this is the one from September. Starting beginning of July, that's for us Arcanlix, our holiday period, two months time, I took the time to dive into the code of the Arch Linux tweak tool. Since February, March, somewhere around there, we decided to go and have a look at other distros and Devores, Garuda, anything Arch Linux based. And we have now 15 distributions, ISOs, that can run the Arch Linux tweak tool. So we see more similarities than we see differences. That's basically the, the vision, the philosophy behind it. It's all Linux and it's all Arch Linux. So what can we do with this tool on the other distros, right? So in July, I took a look at the code more in detail. I mean, you can focus then, nothing else, just the tweak tool for four weeks. So that's, um, uh, something that we've done, you can look at all these possibilities. I'll see already in this YouTube video, we have several new tabs, ATT, design, and later on here, you can see some images. We change some more, well, dummy proof things, uh, delete user and create user, things that um, improve the code. Audio, right, simple click of the button to s install, well, Bulls Audio is still the default, so install Pipewire, switch to that, or if you're not happy with it, switch back to Pulse Audio. There's Bluetooth, that's um, new. Network was already there. Printing is new, you're right. And Samba was already there. So things like that, we've been working on a lot of, well, domains really, okay? Let's just click over it. We can also have new NeoFetch logos. And you can choose any of the other guys, Ubuntu, you name it. You can just have the NeoFetch. If you press Ctrl T, you see the logo of the distro of your choosing. That was not the reason. The reason was that people lost their NeoFetch uh, logo somehow, right? Here's the way to put it back. And we have some new things here as well in the login managers, SEDM, LightM, LXDM, and the wall. We can set all wallpapers for any of these guys. We can choose, that's a nice wallpaper, that's a nice background for SEDM or LightM and actually change it. Not only change wallpapers, but also colors. So 60 million colors to choose from. And that's, um, that's great. It gives us some more freedom on any of these 15 distros. I always look further than Arcanlex. It's Arch Linux Tweak Tool, meaning it's it's supposed to work on all of them. That's the goal anyway, right? And of course, things always change. There is a not a package that stays the same. So Arch Linux Tweak Tool from time to time, we'll have to visit again, I don't know, uh, Manjaro or stuff like that and see, okay, what changed and what do we need to change if we are on X. Some fixes here as well. Choose a number of parallel downloads. I was on Arch and Arch says we don't use um, the parallel downloads by default. I find it silly, I mean, strange as well because it's a great tool, great, great option. And voila, now we can just click 10, apply, done. And also the global setting the cursor globally is done here, explained in articlinks.com. But here, click, 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 apply, done. So things that were missing and there's things that will that we will miss in the future, they all end up in here. So we can have an Arch Linux or any of the eh, systems based on Arch and just click, click, click away and have our stuff. And that's also shown on one of the YouTube videos. How far can we get with the ATT starting with Arch Linux, which is empty mostly, right? and the Endeavor, Garuda, Manjaro, they have already a lot of stuff. So 
Arch is the best way to test because everything still needs to be installed. So all themes you can have, icons, the cursors, the fonts, stuff like that, just to select and then install and you have what you want to have. Because often it's, it's steaming, it's rising. All kinds of themes, icons, surfing, extra. And we, I think we're back, right? So basically July, four weeks of July, we're just about the tweak tool, going inside Python, thinking what are we missing and writing code. We also made the art team different. The package does not, well, the, the, the old package, right? Does not exist anymore. And we've split, and that's a lot of work, I guess. But um, yeah, we split every color into a package. So yeah, now you can decide, okay, just one that one. And then you have the Mantis or the Niagara, etc. You can install this with the ATT or just sudo pacman minus S. So deleting user made it more, uh, well, safe, dummy proof. NeoFetch small, that's new, I guess, right? Only three sisters have a small NeoFetch, already four weeks ago when I wrote all the code. So now we have this code, but only for these guys. Why these guys? Because they do that, right? Because they have submitted that to the NeoFetch GitHub. And that's the only reason. And here's some examples of the small ASCII code. Dracul theme, we've added, so introduced a new theme. That's this color, Dracul. And um, voila, it's easy to install. And the wallpaper, uh, sorry, the icons are there as well. So these are the Dracul icon folders. Dracul dark, so we have a complete look this is a major info, major, uh, it's, it's important to know. We decided to make the ISO a bit lighter. Over the course of five years, all of the packages, the Lego blocks that we decide to install on the ISO, have grown bigger. More functionality, more complexity, right? Without our decisions, without our efforts, I mean, it, it's just uh, the way life goes. Packages just grow. So I said, okay, let's um, try to make it a little bit uh, smaller again, because five years ago it was two gigabyte and just, well, overall the course of five years, it grows. Chromium is not there anymore. Flameshot Kit is not there. Gimp is not there. Inkscape is not there. All the Vivaldi stuff is not there. But when you download the ISO of September, you'll see at the very end in the dev, Article Linux dev, the very last one, you can just click and then you have all, all of these again as well. So the difference is it's not on the ISO. You will not have it. So what you see is what you get. I just explained that to somebody on the forum. What you see in Arclix Excel, so the menu, if you go inside the menu, that's what you'll get, right? What's not there is inside, you, you select it inside Calamari. I want to have this and that and that. So basically all of this is not on the ISO. But inside Calamaris, you can say, download me this, install me this, and nothing has changed, right? So that's the idea. If you say it used to be very good, right? Fine, great. Then you go to the last page there for the selection of all the packages in the advanced installation, and you decide to select all of them with just one click. We decided to give XS and XS LTS a one browser people were asking eric there are no browsers there and well the response the reason for it was of course you wanted to have a bear um, iso bear means no browser so on your demand we've put a browser on there so you immediately have something to to google right to to a tool to search on the internet Several unneeded packages for cups have been admitted, so smaller changes. Yeah, we've uh, visited a lot of um, Arch-based systems. This is number 14 and uh, 15 are now supported. So Archcraft will work as well. Sometimes we give you some special information regarding to a distro. 
So this is specific and here we have some comments. Arch ISO 65 has been used for the ISOs today and it's always in the beginning of the month. We have 66 already out. That's the tool you have to follow if you want to build ISOs on Arcolix. All right. We have a new SDDM theme. Basically, I wanted to have something more minimal, I guess, right? A more minimal SDDM breeze. Breeze has some, some extra elements up here. And I just wanted to have a beautiful wallpaper. Three things, four buttons, stop. So you choose whatever wallpaper you like. And then you have this as a, a greeting. And that's, in my eyes, great. So this video is going in here, what is new. And the video how to stay rolling has already been created. We have seen the saga of the Grub update. Four videos have been made to make you smarter, to explain what to do if something hits you like that, meaning you can't reboot the system. You're, to the f you're directed to the firmware of your motherboard. That was really a critical thing, right? Critical issue. So from now on, uh, well, a few days ago as well, right? We have solved that issue. And it's all explained in four videos. So how to stay rolling is not an issue anymore. You can just download the ISOs and update and nothing will happen. That's it for me. So those were the new things. And now the new year will start, right? September, October, November. And we stay rolling as simple as that. Try to stay rolling as long as possible. There's a lot of information on YouTube, on the forum, on the websites. They're all here. Just go and have a look and see uh, where the information is. Use the search, right? Use the search, people. Do not use the search enough. One of the things to maybe show again, right? Any system of Arch Linux can be fixed. All that requires is a little bit of knowledge. Use the power of Arch root, and that's what we've explained with the Grub issue. We call it the Grub Saga today. All right, have fun with Arch Linux and any of the Linux systems because we find it important that you're using Linux, right? Enjoy.